Hello everybody, it's Soleil. You know, I wasn't really planning on doing a video today, but I was like fiddling around with my um, clear jar. I have this plastic jar. I love anything that is see-through, any container that's see-through like this. I just instantly fall in love with it. And I had all of my buttons in here. I had absolutely no idea what I could do with buttons. But one day I saw Anna's Handmade Creations, I think it was, and she did something with the buttons using the garment pen, I think it was. I can't exactly remember. I don't have really good memory sometimes, but I'm pretty sure I was inspired by Anna. And so I decided to grab my clear jar of the buttons and I just poured it out onto my desk like this, as you can see. And I just started fiddling around with things and just making stuff because Anna was just grabbing buttons and she just, you know, really quickly came out with some really cool things. So I thought I wanted to try that. So all I did was grab my um, head pin and then I just um, put a small, look, like this one. I just put a small bead at the bottom so that it doesn't fall out of the head pin. And then I just did this. I just created like some kind of pattern. So I had these large white buttons and I never knew what to do with it, but I put a little tiny bead and then a, a large button, a tiny bead, a large button, and then I finished it off with like five different little buttons and then did the rounded, um, made the eye pin part at the top. And I think it's gonna look um, wonderful on one of my future dangles. So I made that one, then I made this one and I love how it just freely flows like this and it looks all different shape from the top and the sides and stuff. And so I made that and then I made this one with just a two large one and a one smaller size in, the, in between it. So there's that and it looks like this. And then I made this one. Then I had some, I thought, okay, I'm gonna go color coordinating. So I put the black ones together, all the black buttons that I had in this pile. I made that, like that. Then I thought, okay, I'm gonna go with some darker greens. So I did that and it looks like this. I really, really love that. I love the way it, it looks. This one almost looks like a tree. And here's another one with the different shades of green. And then this one, this black and white one was actually part of the Maggie Holmes um, embellishment pack that um, was gifted to me a long, long time ago. And I really like the black and white stripe, so I've been keeping it, thinking that one day I might add it to a memory decks card or something, but I never got to do that because I it was a button. I think the word button just kind of put me off at the, you know, I just didn't know what to do with it. But Honestly, you guys, I'm telling you, this is really, really fun. So I made that. And then I made this one with the wooden colors and the orange and the reds. And then I made the blue one. And this is all the same size. So it kind of looks just really, really interesting. Look at that. I really like that. And so I'm going to show you guys how simple, fast, easy it is. So I'll just grab a head pin. Just grab a head pin. I'm just... I'm just going to work with whatever's here that I had stored in this clear jar. I'm not going to bother um, looking at some different color beads to color coordinate, anything like that. I'm just, I, I'm just wanting to play with what I have here. So I'm just going to just grab things and then just put things through. And this is actually really, really therapeutic. It's like, if, if you, you know, want to do something and you don't want your mind to be so involved in planning and rummaging through things to find stuff, this is actually quite a fun thing to do. Just grab anything. See, I'm not really color coordinating here and I'm really just, just having fun playing with it. See, I mean, if I was doing um, some type of paper crafting, would I put a brown and an orange one with the clear thing together? Probably not. But guess what, you guys? This actually looks really, really good like this. It's really amazing. So I'm going to go with that color next. And then I'm just, I'm just simply grabbing these beads. Now, I think these beads were part of an um, old necklace or something like that. And I'm just putting it through. Oh, that one's um that one's a pearl in my hand it keeps dropping 
dropping things today. But this is actually really fun. Look at this. So I'm thinking I'm going to put one more on here. Do that. And then now I'm going to get this, um, what do you call this? Round nose plier. And then go, I'm going to put my plier at the very top and I'm going to grab it. And then I'm going to turn it like this. And then I can turn that a little bit more actually. Like that. And then I'm just going to use this other one to make it close a little better and straighten it up. So you have that um, finished top, the hook there. Can you see? So I've got that and it looks really good, you guys. See? Now I'm going to do another one, maybe in the purple shades because I'm seeing a lot of purples down here. So I'm going to grab my little um, bead. So another thing that could be really fun is that if you have a lot of accessory jewelry, maybe go through your stash and see which one you haven't been wearing for a long time and maybe break it apart. And maybe you could do something like this with the buttons. And I'm pretty sure some of these buttons I've gathered from my husband's shirt or kids' um, pants. Like for, for instance, this one says milkshake on this button. And that's because I got this off my one of the baby pants from my boys and I'm a really sentimental person so I just had to have a piece of his old pants with me so I must have just chucked it into this clear jar here but now I'm actually okay to let go because my kid's nine years old and the other one is 17. My nine-year-old is turning um, 10 in May which is real soon. I know just time just flies it's just crazy. I say to my fr um, friend, because I have a, um, a friend named Patricia, and I wait with her um, when the kid, at the end of the day, when we go pick up the kids, I wait with her and have a, like a small five minute chat with her at the car park. And we say to each other how sad it is that our kids are growing up and, and that they don't give us kisses anymore and all of that stuff. And like one day we were talking and we said, oh my gosh, I nearly like had so much tears rolling down my face because the thought of them being a big, bigger boy instead of being a nine month old, you know, nine month old baby, that's so cute. And, and now my baby's like nine years old, turning 10. Anyway, so I... Yeah, I don't know how I got off track, but look at this one. This is a purple one. I am just alternating the little tiny beads. Um, this one in between these two, I put two beads and that looks really nice too. And so I'm just gonna put three beads on this one and then put the purple one on top and then just continue. Now, I can't see the hole, <laughs> so I have to continuously flick it around. Yeah, so I am actually really enjoying this. And so I can see myself wanting some more buttons after this. <laughs> but honestly, I'm not going to go and buy a bag of buttons. You know how I go to thrift, um, th um thrift store next to my chiropractor, right? And I have to go for a walk. Well, I'm going there this Friday, so I'm actually really excited because... I was supposed to go on Tuesday, but because it's um, Easter time, my chiropractor was having like a short holiday break. So we are going on Friday. So wish me luck. I wish I could find some magical things. Look at this purple one. I love that. Love that, love that. And let me do one more. Today was kind of like rainy and not rainy, not it was kind of odd, but our garden, half of our garden is flooded. Every time it rains so much, our garden kind of floods a bit. And, um, yeah, but it's just the way it is. During this time, it, that's just the way it happens to be. Okay, what color combinations am I going to do now? Blues. I think I'm going to go with the blues. So, let's go with the blues. I wish this, this flat back gem, this faceted gem, I wish I could have like a button in this kind of color. That would be amazing. <laughs> it really would be. I don't know what it is with iridescent things. I just, I just love it so much. Iridescent magic. Yeah. 
that's what it is iridescent magic and honestly because i kept dropping things off my um fingers i must have dropped like i don't know at least 10 on the ground so later on when i'm cleaning i'll just find things so here's another sentimental um button it says gap so i think this was a baby gap button no this was not a baby gap button i remember now this is from a, a boy's shirt so i think it was a size five shirt that my kid had and he actually used it as when he was younger because this gap shirt was christopher's it was gifted to christopher by his auntie which is my sister that lives in america and she had sent it with the gap jeans and the gap shirt and i think she also sent us a gap um jacket or something like that for christopher and i didn't get to use much of it for christopher because he didn't like the feel of the shirt so um i kept it and then i passed it on to spencer and spencer when he was three he wanted to be a doctor and he actually told me that he was going to look after me for the rest of my life by becoming a doctor and i was so happy and proud <laughs> but now he doesn't want to be a doctor, I don't think. I think he wants to work for NASA or something, you know? But um, we did find out that to work for NASA, you'd have to have a US citizenship. So I don't know how it's going to go. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, so it's like lots of interesting stories, lots of interesting memories. So this gap button comes from the shirt. See all these little tiny things? It just brings back so much memories for me. I'm, a, I'm just a real sentimental person you guys i really am oh dear anyway i wasn't gonna make this video very long but because i started talking about all these old memories i went past the 10 minutes so i might say bye to you guys because i don't want to bore you guys so you guys if you have buttons and tiny beads and you don't know what to do with buttons do what I'm doing. Grab your head pins, head pins or eye pins, whatever you have, or you might have wire at home. Just try this. This is really therapeutic and really fun. And I think Jovi from Creating with Jovi would really enjoy doing this too. Thank you, everyone. Bye.